Hello everybody, today we're going to be turning on my GE High Pressure Sodium Lamp. <clears throat> now here's the fixture I'm going to be using. If you haven't watched the video, I recommend you go watch the video of me showing good detail of the fixture. So anyway, we'll, let's turn this bulb on. So we'll open the fixture up. Open the fixture, and here it is. We'll take the Phillips bulb out. This Phillips bulb in here. Yeah, I like keeping my light bulbs nice and clean. I don't like getting fingerprints and stuff on them. And we'll take the bulb out and put it in. There's the bulb. I like the shape of it. It's pretty cool. Um, and we'll put it in the fixture. Hold a second. There we go. Piece of hair. But uh, anyway, let's turn these lights off. Just leave the bulb in there. Close the window a bit. Well, it is raining out there. Yeah, it's still raining. That's all. And let's get to turning this on. But I'm going to turn one more light off. We'll turn this light off. And there you go. Oops. I accidentally hit the fixture on accident. Hit the door on my leg. But anyway, let's turn it on. We'll zoom in on that. Here we go. Let's turn it on. It took a while to turn on there. And when it did, you can hear the uh, R2 uh, support is moving around in there and vibrating. Some sort of white down there. Near the bottom, it was white and it was color of sodium at the top for some reason. So that is it turning on. Not the first time though. <sighs> we'll close the door and we'll, we'll let it warm up. You can hear the ballast is quite loud. go warming up we'll move it a little closer to the camera you probably want to see it closer close up there it is we'll zoom in on it a little closer to the camera There we go. A little more. There we go. And there it is. It's getting quite bright in here. Nice and yellow. Smell something, it's weird. I don't know what that is. It smells weird. Uh, anyway, 311 watts so far. Still warming up, still rising. I smell something, it's weird. I don't know what that is. I hope it's not the fixture. It's probably not. It's probably something else. I don't know. I hope it's not being electrical or anything. As you can hear, the ballast is quite loud. Well, quite noisy. Not so loud. But, uh, it's 
the mouse is quite a bit rusty and stuff. Um, and it's getting a little, I think it's getting a little old, but it still works just well. Uh, the only time that I would have to replace ballast or anything is when if it, anything goes bad or anything. If the capacitor goes bad, then I have to replace that. If the igniter goes bad, I have to replace that. Or if the ballast or everything goes bad, then I'll replace the whole thing. I'll just take the old ballast out, put a new one in. So we're at 405 watts so far. Still warming up because it's still rising. Oh, it's quite bright in here. Four hundred eleven, twelve, thirteen. Still rising. <clears throat> Camera went out of focus that time. There we go. Yeah, it's focus up there a bit. There it is. Quite bright. We'll open it back up. Eh, yeah, we'll open it back up. I should have just left them unclipped. Let's open it back up. There it is. Something smells. Probably just the bulb and stuff. That's bright. Ridiculous how big this thing is. I'm gonna focus on the bulb. There it is. Back a bit so you can see it better. Here it is. It's the bulb and the reflector. It's a good shot. I'm gonna focus back out here. Uh, we're ending out at around 429 watts, 430, and it's probably slowly going up a little more and then stopping. Um, let's look at the amps real quick. It's more efficient than the Phyllis bulb. Uh, 4.83 amps and 0.95 power factor. 60 hertz, obviously. Uh, 431 watts. We're gonna round out around there. Hope you enjoyed this video of my GE 400 watt high pressure sodium bulb turning on. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.